Okay, let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, item two on the agenda is the recognition of visitors. Nobody has signed, signed up to speak, so we'll move to item three. Roll call, please, Tom. John? Here. Wilson? Here. Mrs. Garrett? Here. Ledger? Here. Jones? Here. Okay, item four is the presence report. Um, I have nothing to report. <laughs> you do a uh, A and B for you. Okay. So that's have to come from you. They want to take come from me. Okay. All right. Um, under item A, uh, item A is uh, accepting the resignation of Matt Montgomery as middle school, high school principal effective at the end of the 2012-2013 school year contract. And then, we, yeah, that's what you said. Oh, okay. Just under your report, then we'll be mm -hmm. fine. So, what if your two would be one item? You have to vote on. Or at least no, the separate items. So, you should do a vote now. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, we're going to vote. Okay. Yeah, we do. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> that's my bad thing. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the consent agenda, so. <laughs> I could go. Yes. Uh, so uh, <laughs> uh, at this time, I have a motion to recommend or to accept the resignation of Matt Montgomery as uh, middle school, high school principal effective at the end of the 2012 2013 school year. Second, please. I'll second. Any comments or questions? <coughs> Roll call, please, Tom. Go. Yes. Wilson? Yes. Mrs. Garrett? Yes. Fletcher? Yes. Jones? Yes. <coughs> brings us to B. I uh, have a motion to uh, hire Mr. Matthew Montgomery as interim superintendent on a per diem basis effective July 1, 2013. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any comments or questions? I'd just like to comment that uh, we're very excited to have you, Matt. Looking forward to it. Uh, it's nice to see your family here supporting you. And uh, you know, Matt's been, uh, it's kind of funny. Remember, I met Matt maybe about 12, 13 years ago, and uh, knew that he was an outstanding young man at that time, and uh, he's just grown continually, he's just grown and matured, and uh, really works hard. He's a very hard working person, and uh, you're you guys should also be very, I'm sure you are, but uh, you've got a lot to be proud of in this, this young man. I'm sure he's going to do an excellent job for us here, and it's uh, nice to, he's a while graduate. And he's, he's back to the lives in the community. That those are all really nice things, and we're just looking forward to to uh, working with you and, and having you leave the school in the right and, and continue to leave the school in the right direction. So we're very excited. I want to give you a big hint. <laughs> uh, as soon as the news came out that we were going to lose Andy. Yeah, I'm sure everybody experienced this. I started getting texts and calls and stuff like that. And the first word out of everybody's mouth is, what about Matt? And it, it, it's, it was the obvious choice. You know, I, we've known each other for five or six years, and, and you grew up around here. Uh, if, if you can impress me, and you know that's the truth. If you can impress me, you can impress anybody. I've seen how you've worked around these kids. But I think you've been mentored by probably one of the best. And as much as you know, I hate to lose Amy because I'm losing a brother and a friend just in distance. But I think that you know you're going to be perfect for this job. I think it's just going to be what we need is not a lot of turmoil and, and, and that seamless transition. And, and you know, I, I, I just think it's going to be a, a great relationship. The kids love you. Well, most of them. <laughs> but the, the kids want you, and, and the teachers seem to like you a little bit. And, but I mean, I've heard nothing positive 
And so that, that's what made me, even before we decided to do this, made me feel a little bit more at ease about the decision we made. And uh, I look forward to working with you in this capacity. You know how I've been teasing you about I'm your boss, and I never was? Well, guess what? <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, when he's with you, never for. Hey, he's going to say that. You didn't have to say that. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say, um, I don't do well talking, but um, we just think that there are certain people that are meant for the right job, and you are meant for this job. So, with faith and confidence in you. Roll call? Anybody else? Roll call? No, not roll call. Dunn? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Wilson there? Yes. Pleasure? Yes. Joe? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay, I am five. Sure. Uh, before we get to my one item, which we'll call the consent agenda. I do have two things real quick. One, uh, I inadvertently forgot to bring this up at our last meeting. So we had previously talked about a conflict with our June regular meeting date because of some people who were out of town. And we had had a conversation about rather than doing the special meeting we do at the end of June to do end of the year fiscal year financials, maybe doing our regular meeting at that point of the month instead of two meetings. So I guess what I'm wondering is if you're okay with that, if we could look at June 27th, which I believe is a Thursday, so we would go ahead and move the meeting that was scheduled for the 13th, I guess it would be, mm -hmm. to the 27th, same time, 7 o'clock. Does that work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll put out a notice on that. Then the second item I have is uh, we have a need to have a second special meeting this month, and we need to do that the last week of May, somewhere between the 28th and the 31st. So I'm trying to find a time that will work best for you. So hopefully we can have the full board here. So if that's morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time works best that we can find. The 27th is Memorial Day, correct? Yeah, so we're, we'd be looking probably Tuesday the 28th, preferably through Thursday the 30th. If needed, we could do it Friday the 31st. Issue for Tuesday? It's fine. I'm about Tuesday's rough for me, but if I need to. Wednesday the 20th. How about Thursday? Yeah. Thursday is cool too. Yeah. Is, is evening best to do our typical 7 o'clock time? You want to do early? On that day? Yeah, Thursday. I can either do first thing in the morning or 7 o'clock. That's it. Good recognition too. That evening is? Mm -hmm. The 30th? Yeah. We have negotiations with the teacher union starting at 8 that day till 3. Is that the day we're running over? Yeah, that could be going to the attic. Potentially could be. What time is eighth grade recognition? Seven. Could we do a six o'clock board meeting on the 30th? Yeah. So Thursday the 30th at 6 p.m. 27th to 7, right? Yes. June 27th, 7 p.m. That would be our June regular meeting. And then Thursday, May 30th, 6 p.m. will be the special meeting. <laughs> You're going to put those on your I will. All right, so no meeting on the 13th. And the meeting on June 13th is canceled. I'll put that on the update and I'll give it out to the community. Knows. Okay, then the other item that I have tonight is uh, just a quick agenda item to issue a supplemental contract for middle school boys track coach to Craig Bowles for this current year that we're in contingent upon full and complete compliance with the state of Ohio and Waterloo Board of Education eligibility criteria. Any motion to accept the consent agenda? Motion. I'll second. Any comments or questions? Did he just get missed? Or <clears throat> yes. Okay. Yeah. Roll call, please, Tom. Yes. Wilson? Yes. Wilson Terry? 
Yes. Pleasure? Yes. Jones? Yep. Yeah. That's all I have. Okay. Does anybody else have any, any additional business? New business? business? Tomorrow is Senior Awards Day, and they recognize all the kids in the high school. So, kids um, in attendance or merit roll, honor roll. It's really a nice program. I think it starts at 9.